isn't this Heisenberg's principle, more or less? But isn't this actually Heisenberg's principle? No, this is Einstein's principle. Heisenberg's uh, principle was the, the, uh, the uncertainty principle. Yeah. I, I would do more too. Go 
So I've experienced like two guys. I was in Seattle in 99.
are interrupting. The flames are interrupting. But the heat in the core is hot. But the heat in the core is hot. We are the heat. We are the heat. Good people. Good people. Hey! <laughs> 
the war, the war on the world. We want to stop the whole war on the world, the whole wide world. And I'm here to tell you today that as Americans, we've been sold out. We've been sold out. You got it? You understand what I'm talking about? Our president has sold us out. Our Congress has sold us out. Our mayor has sold us out. Our governor has sold us out. Big business and big brother have sold us out. One percent of the world controls 99 percent of the wealth, you fools. You've been sold out. You've been hijacked. You anybody know what I'm talking about? You've been hijacked. You've been robbed. The police, the farmers, the medics, the soldier workers, and the workers of the world have been sold out. You people have been sold out. While you're out here working and trying to get enough money to pay your rent, you get two jobs, you get three jobs, they're laughing at you. The big bankers and big business is laughing at you. Bloomberg is a multi-billionaire. He's laughing at you, fools, because we've been sold out. The international bankers, pyramid, laundry scheme has sold you out. It's over. It's one wide world dot com. It's one wide world fuck dot com. It's a one wide world fuck. This is 2000. You've been sold out. You've been sold out since 1900. Thomas Jefferson said, if the people ever got the bankers to manage the money, the bankers and corporations and big business We'll take your property and leave you homeless. There's going to be nobody left to object. Wake the fuck up. What about the Constitution? Now, the most potent weapon of all that we have, the most potent weapon of all that we have is our Constitution. And I see nobody. I don't see UPJ, United for Peace and Justice. I don't see Answer. I don't see IAC. I don't see War Resistance League. Period. Set all-time record for biggest drop in the history of the stock market. First year in office set all-time record for most by any president in U.S. history. After taking the entire month of August off for vacation, presided over the worst security failure in U.S. history. In his first two years in office, two million Americans lost their jobs. Cut unemployment benefits for more, work, more out of work Americans than any other president in U.S. history. Appointed more convicted criminals to administration positions than any president in U.S. history. Signed more laws and executive orders amending the Constitution than any president in U.S. history. Presided over the biggest energy crisis in U.S. history and refused to intervene when corruption was revealed. Cut health care benefits for war veterans. Set all time record for most people worldwide to simultaneously take to the streets to protest the sitting American president, shattering the record of, for, for protest against any person in the history of mankind. Dissolved more international treaties than any president in U.S. history. First president in U.S. history to have all 50 states of the United of the Union simultaneously go bankrupt. Presided over the biggest corporate stock market fraud in any market in any country in the history of the world. First president in United States history to order a U.S. attack and military occupation of a sovereign nation. Created the largest government department bureaucracy in the history of the United States. Sit for biggest annual budget spending increases more than any president in U.S. First president in U.S. of the United Nations removed the United States from the human rights. First president in U.S. history to have the United Nations remove the U.S. from the election from the election monitoring.
Spent more money on polls and focus groups than any president in U.S. history. First president to run and hide when the U.S. came under attack, and then lied saying the enemy had flown to Air Force One. First, took, the, took the biggest world sympathy for the United States after 9-1-1, and in less than one year made the United States the country in the world, probably the biggest diplomatic failure in United States and world history. When the policy of disengagement created the most hostile Israeli-Palestine relations in at least 30 years. First U.S. president in history to have a majority of the people of Europe, 71%, view his presidency as the biggest threat to world peace and stability. First U.S. president in history to have the people of South Korea more threatened by the United States than their immediate neighbor, North Korea. Changed U.S. policy to allow convicted criminals to be awarded government contracts. Set all-time record for number of administration appointees who violated U.S. law by not selling huge investments in corporations bidding for U.S. contracts, for government contracts. Failed to fulfill his pledge to get Osama bin Laden dead or alive. Failed to capture the anthrax killer who tried to murder the leaders of our country at the United States Capitol building. After 18 months, he has no leads and zero suspects. In the 18 months following the 911 attacks, he successfully prevented any public investigation into the biggest security failure in the history of the United States. Removed more freedoms and civil liberties for Americans than any other president in U.S. history. Entered office with the strongest economy in U.S. history and in less than two years turned every single economic category straight down. If you can believe it, this is an edited list. Very, very.